In this video, I'm gonna show you how to tune a guitar to standard guitar tuning. And I'm gonna give you some free resources that are really gonna help you out. First things first, let's define standard guitar tuning, or sometimes just called standard tuning. So the standard tuning on a guitar is starting with the sixth string, the lowest string, E, A, D, G, B, E. In this last E, the first string being a higher note, two octaves higher than this. So E, A, D, G, B, E. Now if you go in reverse order, in the number of the strings, you have the first string is E, the second string is B, the third string is G, the fourth string is D, the fifth is A, and then the thick sixth string is E. Now that you know the names of the notes, I recommend you get a tuner. I really like the Pano Tuner. It's an app, P-A-N-O. And down in the description section below, I'm gonna put a links there. It's free and it's for Android or Apple iOS. So I use it and I really like it. It's really handy. I've got my phone with me most of the time. And one of the features that I like is when you dial into a pitch, it'll light up, it'll go from red to green and you can see it and it'll tell you the Hertz. Now, Hertz, H-E-R-T-Z. Hertz is the scientific term for how many vibrations per second. And that's pretty important because this low E and this high E up here share the same note name. But how do you know they're different? Well, this one's lower and this one's higher. Well, what if this one was an octave higher? Well, if you went from the low E and accidentally overshot and you're trying to tune up to the E and went an octave higher, the string might snap. Okay, and I've seen that happen. The reason I mention this is I've seen students do that. They miss, they tune above this, this pitch, and then they're looking for E, they're on G, so they think, well, I need to go up to A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and instead of tuning to this E, they've tuned an octave higher. Let me let you hear it. So here's this E, and it should be, that E right there should be around 82.4 hertz, but they end up missing it and try to go all the way up to this E which is double, so 82.4 roughly times two, that's gonna be 164.8. And real quickly, just for your reference, down in the description section below, I'm gonna give you the approximate Hertz numbers for the E, A, D, G, B, and E strings. That way you can double check if you are using the Pano tuner. All right, let's keep going. And the problem is if you overshoot and you get it too tight, if you do that, that can snap your strings at the least. So you don't wanna do that. So I like the Pano Tuner because it shows you the hertz, especially as a beginner, to let you know, oh wait a minute, that's the wrong E, that's an octave up. Now another kind of tuner are these clip-on tuners like this. This is the Korg AW2. Um, you can't get this on Amazon right now, but you can get the Snark, and a lot of my students have used that. I've been very happy with it. I'll put a link in the description section below. I am an Amazon affiliate, and a no extra charge to you if you buy it there, I get a small commission. But don't feel pressured to. You can go get the apps. But one reason why I like the clip-ons is it has a microphone and can hear you, but let's say you're playing with a band and everybody else is trying to tune or make a lot of noise, the microphone might not be able to hear you. But if you clip this on, and put it on the and you put it on the piezo feature. Let me turn it on right here. The piezo feature hears the vibration. It feels the vibration. So people can be making a ton of noise, but it's connected to your guitar and will feel the vibration. So you can tune it up without making any noise. So right now, if you use the microphone, I'm going to turn the volume off on my guitar, and it's still showing me. So right now, my E is a little bit flat. So we're going to go up. Now you're set to go. So again, I turned the volume up on my guitar. So I've got, let's start with the sixth string, the lowest string, E. I'm a little bit flat, so let's tune up a little bit. There we go. Small, I just tuned it away from me there. And it raised it up. Let's try the A, fifth string A. A little bit flat, so I'm gonna tune away from me again. D, that one's good. G, a little bit flat, I'm gonna tune away. Try tuning up to the note, it's a little bit flat. So if you're over the note, try loosening string a little bit and tuning up for it. I have heard that that holds the string in tune better. So try that out and see if that works for you. There we go, B, now E. I wanna give you a fun little tip here. Let's say you don't have a tuner with you, but you just wanna jam and play by yourself and you wanna make sure that your guitar is in tune with itself, what do you do? Let me show you this. So on the thick E string, press down the fifth fret. 
And that is an A, and that should put you in tune with the next open string up. So you have one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm gonna play the open A string. Sounds good. Now I'm gonna go to the fifth fret on the A string. And that puts me in tune with the D string. Now I'm gonna go to the fifth fret on the D string. And that puts me in tune with the G string. Now the G string is different. You're gonna to go to the fourth fret on the G string. And that will put you in tune with the B. So the G string's a little bit different because you can go to the fourth fret and you get the B because G up to B is a major third. And that's only four frets. Whereas for instance, E up to A is a perfect fourth. And that is five frets up. Now let's do the last one, go B fifth fret on the B string, and that puts you in tune with the E. Now, all you have to do is practice tuning your guitar, take some time with it, and really critically listen. If you've enjoyed this, and you've gotten a lot of value out of this content, would you please give me a like and share this with anybody else that could really use this video? And if I missed anything, if you have any questions or an additional comment down in the comment section below, just let me know, I would love to hear from you. And I'm actually about to release a video where I'm gonna do drop D tuning. If you wanna see that, just click right there. And as always, click right there, subscribe, and hit the bell so you'll get notifications as soon as I come out with content like this. As always, thank you for your time. God bless, have a great day, bye.